Hopefully we'll get some God of War. Hopefully we'll get some Final Fantasy 16. I, I'd expect to get quite a few indie games. It'd be interesting to see if they do do something new, but I'm not holding my breath on it. See the beat, the bass drops and goes, hoya! Oh, are we starting? Are we starting? People, we are starting. Right, Sony Showcase, let's go. PS5, captured, here we go, we're starting with gameplay. Gameplay has been captured from the PS5. This program contains mature content, oh god. Looks like Spider-Man, doesn't it? Or Marvel. Bloody hell! Wait, this is gameplay! That can't be gameplay! What the frick? Okay, so we've got God of War on a portrait in the back. We've got... Is this like an advert? Okay, so this is an advert for PlayStation. Why did it... Okay, this is confusing. It said gameplay. This is definitely an advert and not gameplay. I quite like the advert though. I don't know what the chess is about. Oh, Final Fantasy. It just showed Meteor, it just showed Final Fantasy. So it's God of War, Last of Us, Final Fantasy. Got a crown. I don't know what the crown. Anyone know what the crown is pointing towards? Hey, we've got like Suicide Squad and Geese playing a big game of chess. Was that Battlefield? No, Battlefield sign isn't that. Battlefield sign's about the person. Okay, it's gone a bit weird now. I was I was liking the start of it, and now it's just gone a bit weird. I mean, this has got some stick beats. This is probably going to be copyrighted, so I'll have to delete the part after, but... Or we'll just have to, it'll get muted, which is fine. So she took the crown. The queen was dethroned, and so she took the crown. Okay, I kind of like the advert. It had a strong start where it showed games, but then the, the end of the advert I wasn't as into. Let me know if this is like too loud compared to how I'm talking because it, it does seem quite loud. I'm Jim Ryan, President Hi, Jim and Ryan. CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment and welcome to the PlayStation Showcase. Why, At welcome. PlayStation, we Thank believe you, Jim in Ryan. pushing boundaries and setting the benchmark for creativity and excellence in entertainment. Oh, we always love the, the opportunity oh, I love to speak the, I love directly the controller. with community. The new technology in PS5 enables development teams to build more exciting, nice renders. immersive, and compelling worlds, showcasing Horizon their creative West, vision as storytelling. Clank Rift Apart. We've never been more grateful for Coast the PlayStation Shimi, community. Returnal. So thank you for allowing us time to share some significant updates and brand new content. So without further ado, let's look at some new and amazing games. Gonna start with Horizon, I would assume. Ooh, Lucasfilm. Star Wars. We're gonna start with Star Wars? Peace is a lie. Oh. That is what the Sith believe. Yeah, Star Wars. Well, so, hold on. Is this... They are they gonna power. do Fallen Order 2? Do you reckon? Now they wield it. I never played the first one, though. I said, actually, no. Sith in generations. 
Aren't they doing like a battle royale game? Oh, we was not expecting that. Knights of the Old Republic remake. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. If you never played Knights of the Old Republic, my god, that is that is like the best Star Wars game. It's like one of the best Star Wars games ever made. Damn. That looked like it might be properly fully remastered as well. I have heard hints and bits about it, but I wasn't sure they were gonna bring it up. This looks a bit like Scarlet Nexus, but Bayonetta. It looks Bayonetta-y. And the animation's not as free-flowing though. Yeah. Wait, oh is this... Wait, is this the space game? Do you remember when they advertised a space game, like when the PlayStation came out and everyone was like, what's that? And didn't really tell anyone about it. Is this that one? Thanks for the follow, Sadri Nivel. Oh, look at that. The giant space monster. Very Scarlet Nexus, very near Automata. It's very Scarlet Nexus. It is very Scarlet Nexus. Interesting. <laughs> This is this is a mix up between Scarlet Nexus and Bayonetta. Very, very similar. Hold on, did they just say Eve? I n I don't think I've ever played an Eve game. Is this like a new Eve game? I cannot remember if I've ever played an Eve game. I wouldn't say this is anything like amazing, considering this is supposed to be like the future of PlayStation Showcase. I wouldn't say this looks any different than what we currently get. I do like the enemy design though. I like I like crazy and unique enemy design. Very Scarlet Nexus. This is very this is this is basically Scarlet Nexus. Maybe Eve was like the original Scarlet Nexus. If this is indeed an Eve game. Maybe she's just called Eve. The gameplay looks the very hack and slash though. So I, I don't know how in-depth the gameplay will be. They've not really shown that much. There's your quick time events as well. Oh, there we go. You can you can glide through a tunnel. I'm all up for gliding through tunnels. So it looks like you've got a block, a parry, and a dodge. You've got HP, SP, and there was a bot another button bar as well. I couldn't see any different skills. Might be like a Devil May Cry system. Project Eve. Okay, so it's not it's not based on the old Eve games. It's just called Project Eve. Seriously, it's Scarlet Nexus. It is literally Scarlet Nexus. Okay, not not as sold on that. Oh, this is oh what? Yeah, I know what they were trying to make. What were they making? Was it Borderlands? No. Oh, actually, it looks like Borderlands. 
Your party of heroes can't stop me. Who's ready to rickety role play? Spoiler? Yeah, this is this is, is Borderlands, isn't it? Da 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 Get it, 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 get Asking, what? Tina, it's what World of Warcraft. In a fantasy world? <laughs> Why is it so World of Warcraft? Shut up your face and get shot at <laughs> Is it? Hold on, is it Borderlands 3 Warcraft? Oh, the letter, chocolate letter, hot and devil of me. In the chocolate letter, chocolate letter, hot and devil of me. Give it a chocolate up. Oh yeah, jam that metal guitar. Look at all the loot. Yeah, it's like Warcraft Borderlands. What? It is literally Warcraft Borderlands. Okay. You ready, newbie? Time for character sheets, baby! Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Movie. So that's got to be a Borderlands 3 DLC, right? Or do you reckon that's like a, a standalone? Interesting though, it, it was very Warcraft. There was a lot of last things taken from Warcraft from it. Okay. Square Enix, that's got to be Fun Fantasy. Not Luminous though. Luminous is a fun of fun Oh, deal. is it? I was gonna say life is strange, but no, this is this is better graphic. I promise we'll go somewhere that loves cats. Holy shit! Look, this is this is more like it. Movie quality. Clean air, bright skies. It's probably pre-rendered stuff, but even so. What the fuck? Oh, I am liking this. What the actual fuck? Yeah, that is what we would all say if we went through a, a gigantic mystic portal. Holland Tunnel. Okay. Do, can she get back with the portal? Wait, 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 stop, stop. Oh. Where on earth is this? Asuka. Who's there? And technically not Earth. Well, not what you would call Earth, anyway. I swear to God, asshole, show yourself. Show myself, I've shown. Where are you? This is right looking here, interesting. The end of your arm. Oh, hello. What? Yes. What the hell? Okay, so let me get this. It's straight. a snake. I'm somewhere that's not what I would call Earth. I'm seeing freaking dragons, and oh yeah, I'm talking to a cop. Oh, is this um just do that? project? Weed. I just moved it with my. Oh, what was it called? <laughs> yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic, kill jacked up beasts. I'll probably. It was find called it. Project Something. No, you're just being ridiculous. Oh, that's too far. Is that Good Vision's voice? Lines. That sounds like Vision from uh, from Marvel. What's, what's the actor? Who's the actor that plays Vision? Sounds like sons. him. You are the only hope we have. You're special. You're the one that's planning on facing off with Sila. Tanta Sila is the strongest and most formidable of all the Tantas. The only thing is, the voices sound you weird, don't they? The great service by killing her. The voices sound very uncompressed, and it's it's not matching with the. It's not matching with the game. It's like, it's not matching with game graphics. That was it, full spoken. Yeah. No, we did. That got revealed earlier this year, didn't it? Frey. It was called no Project Happier or something before. I am the one you seek. 
The one and only Tanta Sila. I'm not sold on the gameplay, but graphically. Okay, graphically, that is looking like a PS5 game. That's probably the first, first PS5 game that we've seen that decades, graphically looks King all right. Rainbow has been the shield against the oh, this is um, Rainbow Six magical. Extraction. I'm actually, this game looks decent. Biological weapons. I'm kind of looking forward to this game. War. But now we face the greatest terror our world has ever known. I am I am looking forward to this game. Like I don't usually play Tom Clancy games, but this one actually makes me feel like, oh, this is this is something that I would enjoy. Like proper sort of co-op action-y extraction demon sort of stuff. And like if your if your player gets taken away, you have to go and rescue it, otherwise you lose them. If we want a shot at tomorrow. Ah, oh, you can get gun turrets and stuff. And bombs. Think as one. Spin four. Metal plates for the windows. As one. Thanks for the follow, Martin MFA. Together, we enter the unknown. Together, we fight for our future. It'd be interesting to see how this and does no against one. Left 4 Dead. Left um, not Left 4 Dead. Fight for Blood. That's the only thing. Because Back for Blood is going to come out in a month. I think this comes out early next year. I think it got delayed. Yeah, it got delayed until January. It was going to come out like next month, but it got delayed. Um, I, uh, actually, do you reckon they delayed it because Back for Blood was coming out in the same month? Companies do that sort of stuff, you know. They might have delayed it because Back for Blood is very similar and they would have had a, had a lot of competition. Trailer footage includes in-game cinematics and gameplay. It's coming for me. Whatever you do, don't go out in the dark. Stay in the light. The Deerfest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist, no less. It's like ha Halloween. Oh, it's Alice. alone in the dark. No. Yeah, My no. Alice, she's missing. Calm down. Is it Alan? Last night I woke up to a nightmare. No, it's Alan Wake, isn't it? missing a week. What had happened to me? I always get confused between Alone in the Dark and Alan Wake. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it. This is Alan Wake, I isn't it? Myself. I could save Alice. Didn't Alan Wake originally only come out on Xbox? Or was that just Alan Wake's Carl American Nightmare? Ducky, please, thank you. But again, we've seen we've seen a few remasters and stuff. Like, this should be Sony showing its best stuff. I mean, okay, remasters are good, and like a lot My of the slight remasters. But I'm a writer. We kind of want to see the new stuff. Yeah, it was Alan Wake. I don't know if I ever played Alan Wake. I get I I get so confused between Alan Wake and Alone in the Dark, dark because they're pretty similar. You have a torchlight, you're in the darkness, and you're against like demons. Hello, Grand Theft Auto 5. I can't believe Grand Theft Auto 5 online is like still going with like this big step. Bring, just, just bring us Grand Theft Auto 6. I gotta run now. Okay. All right, bye, babe. See this character switching. Actually, we should probably play Grand Theft Auto 5 again. If we got a free upgrade from PS4 to PS5, then I would have played it. I think we're gonna literally make out like bandits on it. Also experienced the online version, which I never played because the online version came out after I'd completed the game and I never went back to it. So I don't actually know how Grand Theft Auto Online is. Did they just shoot down a plane? 
I'm guessing the online part will be for free, right? Ito Musen. Oh, this is that. Is this that game? Or is this Judgment? Is this the game with the photos? Where you're, a, where you're like a photographer? Yeah, this is the photographer game, isn't it? It looks interesting. What was that? It's like Japanese mythology. Yeah, it's like it's like first person. I I call it the photography game because it's like you're looking for a lens. Critical work. People always decry the truth. The only problem with these games is you because they're first person and very first person. You don't know how they will Still actually be. Fear. I am interested in it. Her salvation. Mari. Mari. Like it, it does look the like more nigh. unique, and because it's based on Japanese mythology, like that would be cool as well. Of transformation. Transformation. Imagine having this in VR. You would literally a shit new your pants. Age will dawn. Ghostwire Tokyo. I I depends how much it is. I probably wouldn't pay like full price full price for it. I'd probably wait for a sale for that one. But I do I do quite like the concept and I do fancy it. It's just not one that I. I am, would spend all the money on. Uh, is this going to be the Sons of Shadows? Because they won't show Marvel Avengers. Guardians oh, Guardians of the Old the Guardians. Galaxy. They've got so many Marvel games now they could show. You came here seeking truth. A choice. The Matriarch wishes. Again, sure, this game can. doesn't look that great, and the United gameplay that the they've shown doesn't look that all great. Suffering. The all only good thing about end. it is they oh. seem to have got the comedy like down, which is good. What's wrong with you? Oh, He's think... faking a heart attack. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm having a heart attack. Cease this at once. Uh, fine. Hey, I like I like the comedy. Grand Unifier Raker, leader of the Church of Truths. During that ritual with the priests, and it's the Church of Truths. Which is like, like a big, is a big comic book sort of thing. Or join the cult. So let us investigate for you. Always a gitch, Peter Quill. And not I probably will buy this game just because it's hey, world mind. more for the Long name rather no than see. the gameplay. The current probability of defeating the Universal Church of Truth is zero point three percent. Is that bad? It sounds bad. It is. I hope you've got one hell of a speech plan, Peter. That makes two of us. I mean, the music, you know the music in this game is going to be fantastic. But look, the gameplay, like, the gameplay just looks random. You shoot, you dodge, you get some skills, you can use the skills of other characters. You have proven yourself but it looks, unworthy, it looks quite basic. And you must be destroyed. Guardians of the Gex. I'd, I'd probably buy it just for the comedy and the music. On her way. And the actual characters look decent. Thanks, bud. But yeah, what does everyone else think about Guardians of the Galaxy? Just, just if you've not seen it before, what do you reckon just going from that? Banana hammock. Wow, that would look dodgy. Banana hammock. And someone was literally doing that on a banana. Oh, is this vampires? <coughs> yeah, they were bringing out a new... A new multiplayer game, weren't they? Vampires and werewolves, was it? See, I like these sorts of things. These games... These games are games that I used to play when I was younger. And I like these sorts of games. 
the Nosferatu. Ah, you can snipe and you can like glide down in like a. Um, okay, I like the look of this. The Brusher! The Brusher, man! Yo, Brusher, how you doing? You gotta have the werewolves as well, right? Oh no, it's just vampires. But yeah, I'm I am looking forward to this. Like it does look decent. I don't know whether it's gonna be like a free-to-play game and they're gonna have like cosmetics and stuff, or whether it's gonna be a, a game you have to buy. Picture your perfect you. I, I told you they would show death loop. They keep pushing this game constantly. I'm not getting this game. I'm not into it. I'm, I don't. I'll probably watch someone play it, but it's not my cup of tea. Locked us all in one repeating day. Their eternity. An endless party that you can never leave. I am a storm Good music, though. Round and round we shall go. Places supposed to be unforgettable. A bunch of spaced out science nerds, brainwashed cultists flinging bombs, whatever these guys are doing, all spewing eons bullshit. Wiggity. Oh. Oh, so how come I don't remember shit? This party island hangover is none my thing. My thing is answers. Who are these people? What do they want with me? And why is she always one step ahead? It looks a bit oh, like 13, oh, that slash time split is a bit, which I do like, but just in terms of like the combat somebody and the gameplay, it doesn't seem like it, messages from the it does it for me. Past, whenever. And some jackass wrecked every plane out here. squeeze. Is this a contest for them? Some type of experiment? How does this time loop work? Does anybody What's remember? Why is everyone oh, wearing a mask? <laughs> what the hell is black man's notes anymore? Who am I? Colt, I want you to remember. I want you to remember why you came here. Huh. Is that... Damn, I look good. Ah, he was head of security. It'll, it'll kind of be like Returnal a bit, won't it? You just keep dying, respawning, dying, respawning. I don't know, everything I see about this game just doesn't sell it for me. But a lot of people are very hyped about this game. Gonna break this time loop before it breaks me. Ah, it comes out in five days. Decent. Okay, we'll find out in five days when people start playing it, whether it's good or not. Oh, we're going into the weird Twilight Zone. I don't recognize this one. Do not recognize. Like it. I like what they're doing with it. Kid Amnesia Expedition. Ah, oh, it's an expedition. It's not even a game. I was like, that's quite cool then, how they were starting it off. I was like, oh, what's this? Like a, a thriller? Like a sort of horror game? I really want a new good horror game. I'd love for them to like do a proper new like horror game. I wish they did the new Silent Hills.
This looks like Animal Crossing, The Stims, Legend of Zelda. Maybe not, maybe more open world. You can turn it, hold on, you can take control of the bird and you can fly around the island. That's quite cool. Oh, oh, you can turn into different animals to help you, like, break into stuff. Actually, that looks very big. Did you see how big the island was? Actually, looks pretty big. Okay, the animation is slightly up there. I quite like the style. Very nice animation style. Is it French? What language is it? New Caledonia. Ah, oh. oh, I quite like that. It didn't say what the game was called, but I quite like it. Ah, oh, they've not shown God of War, they've not shown Horizon, and they've not shown Final Fantasy. They've not, they've not really shown. They, what did they show? They showed like one thing that was new, but everything else has been stuff that we know of. The biggest pirate treasure of all time. Oh, are we not? We're not remastering Uncharted, are we? The task of Ganesh. Now that's not an easy vibe. So we're doing a thief's end, and we're doing Lost Legacy. Ugh. Not more remasters. Last night check, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. As much as I love Uncharted, and I have played every single Uncharted to death, I'm not first with Uncharted being remastered, especially Lost Legacy and Thief's End. To say with the latest ones, why would you not start with like the original Uncharted? Do like original Uncharted? I know they they did do the Uncharted remastered collection, but that was on PS4. I mean, come on, this is PS5 now. I suppose they did it on PS4, so they get they want to do this for PS5 before eventually they'll bring out the next Uncharted, which I'm, I'm guessing they're going to do with Nate's door. PlayStation Studios. PlayStation Studios, at its heart, is a diverse and passionate group of storytellers at our collective of AAA studios all across the globe. So you're going to show us Horizon, God of War, and. And As creators, something? PlayStation 5 gives us the opportunity to push the boundaries of storytelling even further. Usually they show Horizon. teams at PlayStation Studios have already delivered such incredible gaming experiences for PS5. And we're I only do just want Ratchet Clank. As you'll see today with the lineup of exclusive games coming for PlayStation Studios, we're going to continue to drive innovation, advance gaming, while always embracing the legacy of PlayStation and creating games that matter. Games that you're not going to find anywhere else. Enjoy. Okay, are we are we actually going to see the actual Sony Studio games now? Yes, we are. Start with Horizon. No, we're starting with Ratchet and Clank. What? No. Okay, Insomniac's doing a Marvel game. So is this is this the stun? Or is this a new one? Insomniac and Marvel. Interesting. Insomniac, a different choice for a Marvel game. What? Oh, he was not expecting Wolverine. Oh. Oh, God, was not expecting that. Oh, I am totally into a Wolverine game. If it's by Insomniac game, it's going to be... It's going to be a hack and slash game then. Which, to be fair, if it's Wolverine, of course it's going to be a hack and slash game. God, they're making so many Marvel games now. There's so many Marvel films and Marvel games. Wolverine is actually... It. Wolverine is one that I would definitely buy. Hands down, Wolverine is like the best. 
In fact, this looks fucking good for a... Uh, for a target. Oh, is it? Oh, wait, is this gonna be Gran Turismo that was supposed to come out unreleased and never did? Yeah. Are they actually gonna release it? That looks bloody good. I mean, they're not really showing anything, but oh Jesus, look at the look at the textures and that, and the lightning, the lighting. Okay, that looks actually pretty nice. That is a big step up from the last Gran Turismo. Ah, oh, this does look good. This, obviously, this isn't gameplay though. This is pre-rendered graphic. They're just a bit late because obviously I'd have brought this as like a, a PS5 release game. Ah, oh, no, this is pre-rendered though. See, look, they're showing actual in-game stuff now. Yeah, the in-game stuff isn't looking as good. Looks, it looks nice, but it's not as good as the pre-rendered stuff. Well, if you're into your car games, you can get the new Gran Turismo. See, that's how the gameplay looks. Nowhere, nowhere near as good as the pre-rendered images. Very, very bait. This is this is what I I hate about like adverts and trailers. They show you look look at that, right? It cuts to pre-rendered graphic, and you're like, oh my god, that looks awesome. And it cuts to gameplay, and you're like, what? That's the gameplay? You're showing me this awesome stuff, and you're showing me that as the gameplay? It's like, come on, guys. I know you were supposed to bring it out as a launch game, but... Gran Turismo 7, the real driving simulator. I remember playing Gran Turismo 4 when I was at school and doing the Le Mans 24 hours, and you had to literally play for 24 hours. And I played the game for 24 hours, and I came first, and like... I don't know what. As long as I, can I don't know remember, what happened. I, for any I can't even remember unlocking anything, to be honest. One who could push me. Oh, Spider Man, baby. One who could surprise me. Wait, who's the voice? One who could even beat me. Who's the villain? Yet I don't recognize the voice. Is disappointment. Will one of you finally give me what I desire? I know. Yes. We will. Oh, shit. It's Venom. Oh. Okay, I'm sold. I am fucking sold. 20, oh, 2023. Jesus. Oh my God. Both Spider-Man against Venom. That. Okay, I'm happy. Spider-Man 2, I'm sold. Day one for me. Day one. Sp actually, they did the last two Spider-Mans. Was such good games. I'm, I'm sold. As long as they, they tweak it a bit so it's not samey. That was the only problem with the Spider-Man games. It got it got quite samey. The story was amazing. But the actual like side quests and stuff. Finally, God of War. I told you there'd be God of War. This is what we wanted. This is what people wanted to see. The next God of War with Boy! Boy! Atreus, man. Kratos and Atreus. Time is running out. Please show us the story and the please be Ragnarok. The winter leads to Ragnarok. Yes, Ragnarok. Thank coming. God they're actually doing the story. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there. 
this is gonna be fucking good. I will not allow him to pick a fight with God. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard, maybe that's what Mother wants. We do not know what Mother wanted. Well, I recognize that dour expression anywhere. Oh man, oh, this is in the snow. Oh my god. My favorite environment of any game is the snow environment. Jesus. Who's dead? Well, look at that. Odin seemed pretty keen on Oh, that looks beautiful. If he's out there, we gotta find him. Come in. What? No, hey, we've, we've, got our, we've got our tools back as well. We're trying to stop Ragnarok to help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? Oh, we've got our tool. War is we've got our... Way. Dude, we didn't have our... Um, stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking things like in a the last one, did we? We just had an axe you in the last game. Like we didn't get half our chains. Oh, man. Are you a calm and oh, person? That's sick. Oh, four. Yeah, four's gonna be... Four's gonna be the bar. Because it's Ragnarok. You go up against that guy. Oh, I'm liking this. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. I want to know the name. I want to know if they're going to call it God of War Ragnarok or whether they're going to change the name just because everyone said they wanted it to be called God of War Ragnarok. Tear. Are you coming with us? No. Is it? It is. Come on, we knew it was going to be called Ragnarok. Well, some of them. Who's that? Who's the girl? Who's the girl? Do we know who the girl is? Who's the girl? I don't know any girls in Greek mythology. More, up more updates in 10, 9... Okay. So we've seen God of War. Wait, it's been 40 minutes. Oh, it's running late. There's got to be... They've got to show Horizon off. They'd be stupid not to show Horizon off. Um, maybe Final Fantasy. I don't know why, but my stream just went down. Oh god. Well, I recognize that. So if my stream went down, anywhere. then I'm sorry, I don't know what just happened. It just said that my stream got disconnected. And that was the PlayStation Showcase. We've got more info and updates coming right now. And I'm in fact joined by no less than PlayStation Studios head Herman Holst. Uh, Hi, Herman. Herman. Really strong showing here from PlayStation Studios tonight, including an awesome new look. I wouldn't at say GT7 it was. I wouldn't say it was really finally, strong. A but date. we finally GT7 got shown in March. Gran Turismo I don't think fans are going to be disappointed with what Yamauchi Son and Polyphony have been working on. And what we're doing with GT7 is we're pulling from the entire history of the franchise, taking some of the best features into GT7, GT campaign, arcade missions, all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, I got a chance to play and it just looks and plays sensationally. The haptics, yeah, the vibrations, you feel the rolls, the pull and the weight of the, I don't know. Of the different cars. I'll tell you, it's, the one thing I that said, I personally really, Gran Turismo really would be a game that I got the for uh, a release game, but... The adaptive triggers that really kind of... I don't it, think I'm a first like game an incredible now. racer. And for me, that's great. 
great to hear that about GT7. I can't wait to play that. But I also really wanted to talk about Insomniac. I mean, this is a studio that is absolutely on fire. The last year, maybe 18 months, with Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, Ratchet and Clank, A Rift yeah. Apart. And they now two big reveals they tonight in the form it. of Marvel Spider-Man 2 and that Marvel's was, Wolverine. It's so, kind of a shock. You work really Wolverine closely and with Spider-Man Insom, 2. Kermit. I am. So what can you tell I us am. about just I, I, I why my money now. Uh, Insom gets so fired up them. about the Marvel Universe? I mean, Sid, you said it, Insomniac are on fire. They've been just so productive. And I think the team in Insomniac, they're really always challenging themselves to raise the bar with their approach to storytelling and, and craftsmanship. We still need to and play it's really Raptor evident Frank. in the consistently high quality of games that they've been delivering over the years. I think on top of that, they really, really prize collaboration amongst their team. And that collaboration that that also extends to the to, to the way that they work with other PlayStation teams, but also their work with their great partners at Marvel. And that collaboration resulted in the amazing first two Marvel Spider-Man games. And I know that Insomniac are I can't wait for Spider-Man 2 to be with further expanding the universe that into Marvel Spider-Man 2 now. Incredible. And they're also going to be raising Absolutely the bar again, you know, incredible. in terms of immersion, action, visual fidelity. I think Marvel Spider-Man 2 will be a spectacular both showcase Spider-Man in it for as well. gaming. And they're also so thrilled to then bring gamers an emotional and a suspenseful journey into Marvel's I mean, look at this. Just I think that man. PlayStation fans are really going to be in for a treat over the next few years. Very cool, very exciting uh, going to be a hack and, slash and, game. And, and on multiple fronts. But we Tonight, see. we also got our first big look at God of War Ragnarok. Herman, oh, yeah. what can you tell us about where Santa Monica Studio is going with this one? You know, like many of the fans, I'm personally really, really invested in the relationship between Kratos and Atreus. We got to see in the trailer that there's some real tension brewing between them as Ragnarok approaches. So, you know, I can't wait for players to see how that relationship between oh, them Oh, he gets evolves. his, um... And you gotta trust me when his, I say that Santa Monica Studio have prepared quite a few twists and turns for players as they set up the finale of the Norse saga in God of War Ragnarok. We're gonna get an update on God of War Ragnarok from Santa Monica Studio here in just a moment. Ooh. But before you go, Herman, Stick around, let me guys. get your take on Horizon Forbidden West. Now we've learned that this one is coming out in February. I am sure that by this point you have played it. So what has jumped out to you? What can you tell us about the game? I've had a chance to play the game on, on PS4 and PS5, and it looks great on both. For, for PS5, the level of detail on Aloy, her kids, their lighting, it's just exceptional. Even more amazing because the environments have so much going on too. And from the ruins of San Francisco to I mean, those it new does underwater good, areas, it? everything just looks breathtaking. And I wasn't as taken with the SSD. first Horizon, but I'm, the I'm still gonna the get the second Horizon. So much variety. It's all based on player choice. There's so many cool weapons and tools. And when you combine these together, that comes in really handy uh, when you're dealing with the new machines. On PS5, the haptic feedback on the controller, I think in my mind really adds to the experience, you know, when you're firing arrows. Oh, look at that. And, it's and got the double ammo. zoom in now as well. You know, the team at Guerrilla, I know them so well. I'm super proud See, of them. See, they've made it they're so you can actually focus on enemies' special. weak points I just as well. can't wait for gamers to get the next chapter of Aloy's adventure in their hands. Thanks for the update, Herman. We're joined now by Eric and Corey from Santa Monica Studio. And I wanted to check in with you two on the big announce we saw just a few minutes ago, God of War Ragnarok. We finally got our first big look at it. And actually, Eric, I wanted to start with you. You've been involved with every single God of War, including 2018's God of War, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct, Sid. I've been with the Jeez, studio Sid. since uh, 2004, uh, wow. in many different capacities, that working with both Santa Monica time. and Radiant Dawn on the God of War franchise. And uh, I don't know why, but they thought it'd be a good idea to say, hey, do you want to direct this one? And so <laughs> that's what I'm doing. I'm directing God of War Ragnarok, or it's quite All right, we got a new director. Huh? Okay. Um, so that's the update on that. So Eric, uh, why the shift in leadership on God of War Ragnarok? Um, it's always been a tradition here at Santa Monica to change the directors across the games. You know, we've had really good success with that. I, I, Corey's been the only repeat director and, you know, rightfully so, he's pretty damn good at what he does. So that's kind of what it is. The important thing for us is to be able to kind of get a fresh perspective each time, uh, but also, you know, a fresh pair of legs in the sense that you're really exhausted at the end of finishing one of these things. So you got to con somebody else into doing it. Okay, so we like got him. a new director for it. So Eric, what aesthetics or which might go in a different sort of way to the other one? Creative? I mean, I, I guess I what I'm getting at is how, how do you see yourself to see. leaving your fingerprints on God of War Ragnarok? 
It's kind of the, the designer in me wants to answer one way, but as a director, you have to answer a different way. I think you have to learn how to jettison your own a profession when you when you switch over to the director's role, which I'm sure Corey can uh, understand. I mean, he kind of animated a little bit on God of War 2, and we kind of had to throw it all out, except for that sneaky backflip that Kratos has never done again that we left in. But that's the perk of being the director, I guess. Um, but, you know, from my point of view, like, we want to tell a very heartfelt and epic story as, you know, a father and son go on a journey, and they, they kind of struggle with holding on with, to stuff and letting go of things. You know, it's a very difficult kind of human condition that we all deal with. And uh, you kind of want to arrive at that so by taking, good. like, slices of life or family, you know, drama, if you will, and kind of juxtapose that I would assume it'll come late backdrop. next year. And, you know, at the end, we just want to have They've an ending that feels very... But you know, surprising yet inevitable based in fact, on all they, those they things. they do but seem it's, from it's kind of, you know, that they're from the Midwest, a, so like a slice of life, very common mundane things are just as interesting as big world events. And so we try to collide those things together, it's, you know, make an experience that's very worthy of the God of War name. So with the game officially being called God of War Ragnarok, um, I guess it, it doesn't take a genius to think that perhaps Ragnarok factors into this game in some manner. Can, can you confirm that, Eric? Yeah, I mean, you can't call the game God of War Ragnarok and not have Ragnarok happen in the game. So, you know, it's, oh, it's, it's going to be happen. fucking good. We're going to cap off the Norse series with it. It's um, going to be so good. And I think so Judge said it best in the announced trailer last year. Prepare yourselves. The last game ended with a teaser of sorts for Thor. And I just got to know, was that Thor's voice we heard in the trailer just a few minutes ago? That was definitely Thor's voice uh, that we heard in the trailer. Uh, Thor is being played by Ryan Hurst, um, which you might know him from... Uh, Sons of Anarchy, he played Opie, one of my favorite characters ever. Um, and we're just delighted to have him come play in the God of War sandbox. And uh, his take on Thor and our take visually on Thor is very different than the, the hunky Australian you might know. You know, he's much closer to the uh, Norse mythology version. You know, he's this big, burly, almost hedonistic man-child, red hair, you know, left-handed, just, just a little off kilter than the Thor that a lot of people know right now. So I can't wait for people to experience more of that when the game's done. Give us a release date. We also date. heard the name Odin Give us a release in the nice trailer. So I imagine if we're going to experience Ragnarok, Odin's going to have to play a pretty big role here, right? Definitely. I mean, Odin is the all-father of all the realms, so he's going to show up when Ragnarok happens. Um, we are very, very happy to have uh, Mr. Richard Schiff come on to play Odin for us. Uh, you may know him as Toby from the West Wing. Um, this was one that we never thought was going to happen. It was like kind of a shot in the dark, and uh, he got back to us, and we walked him around the mocap volume, and he was just like... I've never done anything like this before, let's do it. And uh, so the kind of rest is history. So I can't wait for people to experience that and see how he factors in. And it's a very uh, different take again, much like good. Thor. You know, he's like a old man who's just kind of busy with his own things and doing whatever he wants. And uh, he's, you know, he doesn't live in a castle or anything like that. So it's, it's a, again, a different take, kind of what we do. We just take what's known and curveball it a little bit and you know, make it special. We also saw a couple of new characters tonight. So what can you tell us about them? Are you yeah, talking about the, the little squid? <laughs> no, no, you're talking the, about Tyr. Tyr, the big guy. The yeah, the end. yeah, he's the, the Norse God of War. Um, and the yeah, Curtis I and Trace of Fire found him. We talked a lot about him in 2018, so we were like, well, we might as well show him to the people. And then the last character we saw at the trailer, you know, yeah, with the little wink and smile from Angerboda. She's one of the last remaining giants, um, and her story is pretty amazing ah. how it fits into the world of God of War. Um, Tyr is being played by Ben. Prendergast, um, who's been completely absorbed in the role, even though he is not a giant as Tyr is. Um, and then uh, Anger Boat is being played by uh, Leia De Leon Hayes, who's a complete treasure on set. She's been amazing. Watching her chemistry with the other characters has been amazing. And she's one of the last giants that's living. So we have those characters and a few That'll more. Be interesting. You know, a lot of different monsters he saw in there. And they will do a lot. so many talented people at the studio of building this trailer and putting it together. I just want to give a shout out to the team. I love you guys. You know, I wish you could be here doing this interview with me. I wish you were all behind me right now at the studio. Um, that would have been completely amazing. And, you know, lastly, to our fans, uh, we have a saying at the studio that we are fans of our fans. And I cannot wait to watch all the tweets, the messages, the reaction videos that you guys put out and, and our, our team to be able to take that into heart and uh, just get excited and hyped and then uh, use that to push us through to finish the game for you guys. So thank you very much. Now, Corey, we haven't heard a whole lot out of you here tonight. So now that we know you're not directing God of War Ragnarok, I was hoping maybe you could give us a little clue about what you may or may not be working on next. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You'd like me to just spill the beans and tell you <laughs> everything that's going on right now. We're actually doing a bunch of stuff. It's really exciting, all the things that we're doing and you're tempted to know what is this, but I, 
don't really have anything I can talk about right now specifically, mostly because we're, we're really focused on God of War Ragnarok, that I am incredibly excited that I finally understand that that's what everyone was saying, God of War Ragnarok. I was way off. I was thinking it was something else that they were talking about. I think we'll, we'll wait to, to get any deeper into anything else until later. We'll talk again, Sid. All right. Well, thank you, Corey. And thank you, Eric. And so next up, we have stuff in the wax Ryan well. Treadwell. He's the lead producer at Aspire. And wouldn't you know, just a little while ago, we got the announcement of a remake for Star Wars Knights uh, yeah. of the Old Republic. So, if this Ryan, is going to be like question is, is this like a, PS5 a remaster graphics. of the original game or what's going on here? Yeah, what is going on? It's so Tell much it. more, Sid. This is a complete remake of this oh, beloved yeah. Star Wars story. This is going to be for sick. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake, remake. We are rebuilding from the ground up ah. while maintaining that integrity of story and character from the original. This so is going to be incredible. How much of a remake are we talking about here? I mean, is this updating some graphics, adding some some higher resolution mode? He just said it's a rebuild. You know, the original Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. He is literally a true just classic, said he's rebuilding and it. And one of our favorite Star Wars stories ever. We want to honor that original story and make it as impactful for players today. In terms of the visuals, we have an opportunity to present this story with a much higher level of fidelity than was possible in the past, while making sure that we're being authentic to what players loved about that original game. So we know Aspire from bringing classic Star Wars games to modern consoles, uh, but this is a much so bigger be like project a than anything the rebuild. studios tackled before. So. What can you tell if me? If they about get the this right, this is going to be this is going to be like one right. of the big games. Well, Aspire has enjoyed a great relationship with Lucasfilm Games through our work bringing classic Star Wars games to new audiences on modern platforms. This project is on a completely different level to anything we have done before. That's why we knew we had to assemble the right team to do this project justice. We put together a team full of industry veterans from fan favorite RPGs, even including the original Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. It has been a really rewarding experience to assemble such a talented team to bring back an epic game. Of course, we're also working closely with the amazing teams at PlayStation and Lucasfilm Games. Together, we couldn't be more excited about what we'll be able to show you in the future. All of us are, of course, huge Star Wars fans too. One of the nice parts about building a team to make a big Star Wars game is the ability to instantly bond with all the new people of your favorite aspects of Star Wars. We all have different Star Wars memorabilia behind us in every call, and it always sparks up a good conversation. So all they right, said thanks, it'll Ryan. Be on PS5 Very PC, exciting stuff, and I'm definitely dying to see more of that one. Thank you, Sid. It will be some time before we're ready to show more, but yeah, we're be very excited about how, being able to reveal like, more. Like when they've the made gameplay and all stuff. All right, and that's it for our show. To see you can catch up on all it? the big news on PlayStation.blog and check out all the trailers from tonight's PlayStation Showcase on YouTube. Thanks for watching.